All right. Hey, whiskey people. It's time to raise a glass again with Trenny and C. Boom. Here yeah. it is. Not an empty glass. No, don't raise an empty one. This is your chance to go and grab one and then fill it with something. Yeah. Probably mi mixture. Mixtures? Mixtures? Yeah. Mixtures. Small batch. Small batch. But when you pay as much as we did for this, you can call it whatever the hell you want. So, um, anyway, we have Michter's Small Batch Bourbon today. So you should probably stick around and find out why we paid $115 Canadian for this. Like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Okay, introducing a mixture's small batch. All right, US Star One. There we go. Bourbon. Let's pour this bad boy. Yeah. So, as you know, we uh, rate our whiskey with um, color, nose, taste, finish, and viscosity. And uh, we time. I think right off the bat with this guy, color. The color is I I rate I usually rate whiskeys a little lower than C. So, but I think this is a fantastic color. It makes me want to drink it. Yeah, it's got that kind of um, dark straw, golden brown yeah. thing going on. It's, it's like a red ale. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, yeah, you know, yeah, like a red ale, except sure. flat with no carbonation. Yeah, well, it's not bubbling, but yeah. it's um, it's beautiful. It's definitely got that that shiny brown, golden the way bourbon should look, really. Yeah, yeah. And I think uh, color is a good indication, especially with bourbon, because they don't add any coloring or flavor. It can give you a pretty good idea of either if they've used brand spanking new. Well, they usually use brand spanking new charred barrels, mm -hmm. but also how long they've aged it. So how deep the char is, yeah. how long they've aged it. Now there is no age statement on this product, yeah. but it's supposed to be understood to be around like eight years, I think. Yeah. Probably um, six to eight years. Yeah. And then they're supposed to be coming out with, um, I'm not sure what the, what the type is, what they're calling it, but the, the rare, the rare the brand rare of it, yeah. yeah, that are supposed to be 10, 10 years old. 10 years so old. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be, it's gonna, this is going to be less than 10 years old, but maybe just, maybe just a couple years slightly less than that. Mm. So. so with bourbon, you can tell the age a little bit better by the color. Yeah. No um, bourbon, no color added. Yeah. And no flavor added. So, uh, yeah, so let's get right into the nose of this thing. And for, for myself, as soon as I, uh, when we cracked this bottle... I, for me, I kind of felt a, there's a little higher rye content, but it diminished yeah. once it settled down a little bit. And that's because it gave a little, or might be because it gave a little bit of a burn to your nostrils. Mm -hmm. And at 45.7%, that's understandable. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, I got a weird tasting note for this one yeah. that I even hesitate to bring up because it is so weird is that I got a steak. Yeah. Steak, like a medium rare medium steak. Rare steak. Little note bit, to it. Like that steak blood? Yeah. Like, like, a, like a smell? Just a nicely cooked, just like a salt and pepper steak smell to yeah. it. Yeah. Which was... It, now, and that's not the dominant flavor, so I probably shouldn't have mentioned that first, but I mean, you do it, have... It those, is in there. Yeah, you yeah. do have those sweet flavors that uh, that you expect. Uh, totally. I mean, like I said, with it having that spice to it, it also does have that rye, or the, sorry, the corn content, obviously. Yeah. And I have a, like a, a cinnamon raisin kind of a smell going on here. Like, it's, it, because, like, let's say cinnamon raisin and sweet together, it's... Like a sticky bun, like a cinnamon yeah. bun kind of a, a feel here. And this and the cinnamon piece isn't heavy, but no. I'm just saying it all kind of goes together with that sweetness. And again, I don't know how the steak piece ties into this. Maybe this would just be really good with a steak. Well, if you think about it, a steak gets charred on the barbecue. And I think probably I'm getting a lot of like that uh, oak sugar mm. char mm -hmm. notes on the nose. Yeah. And that's just the nose, obviously. Maybe it makes sense. I don't know. Well, let's, let's At probably... least we're not saying bubblegum. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
I used that once, I think. Wrong. No, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Okay, let's do, do some tasting here. We got a good healthy pour too. Mm -hmm. And mm. again, I'll mention at $115 Canadian, uh, you know, you can only afford so many healthy pours here, but yeah, that's for your viewing pleasure. Yeah, it looks, looks fantastic, I think. Mm. And on the taste, mm. I'm a huge fan. I, I mean, I love it already. Mm -hmm. It's you very know, good. We, I mean, this is. This, this amount that you're seeing missing, that's just in tasting notes yeah. tonight. <laughs> so I, I gotta say, so there's this honey, honey, uh, toffee, oak thing going on, but one of my tasting notes, oddly enough, talking about with that, that steak thing, mm -hmm. says salt and pepper jerky. Mm. Okay. So I, there is like this kind of, this I, meat, I, a meaty, meat. I, uh, a beefy, I kind of, because it's, it's, this is one of those whiskeys that it does take water, but not much. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And it, it it's kind of like if, if whiskey was meat, mm -hmm. I would consider this like venison. Yeah. It's like kind of gamey, yeah. but it also is sweet. Yeah. And I put down that I, like when I first tasted it, I put peanut brittle because it has this sweet and savory, this sweet and salty kind of a flavor to it. But like when you think about peanut brittle, it's sweet. It's salty and it's creamy too, mm. right? Like this is a very buttery to me. It, yeah, I, it, it comes with that that buttery smoothness, which is really delicious. And like, um, I'm gonna stick with the butter note. Hold on, okay. stick with the butter note yeah. for a second. Yeah. Butter ripple, like butter ripple, like that ice cream. Yeah, and then butterscotch. Okay, so it's got the cream. In yeah, there. it's in the, the cream. The butteriness, but then the sweetness too. That oh, interesting. And I, I wrote, caramelly. Yeah, and I wrote what did I say here? Juicy citrus cream mm. and meringue. Meringue. Right. Okay. Because it's got a bit of a tang. It's eh? got a touch of a tang, but it's still creamy. And, a little bit on the end. Yeah, okay, yeah. and, and light. So it's, I like it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it tastes great. Mm. I'm a huge fan of this. I, I was scared when we bought it. I was like, okay. At one hundred and fifteen dollars, better be I mean, worth it. Yeah, like how much better than a you know seventy dollar bottle is this gonna be? Yeah. And in some cases, I'm 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 thinking it's quite a bit better, and in other cases, I'm thinking now that there there maybe is bang for your buck on some of these seventy dollar bottles too. Completely, like, completely. it's completely. a great bottle. But yeah, I mean, really, it's for what are you spending an extra forty five dollars or something to get? Yeah. This bottle versus something that's maybe on par. Yeah, yeah. This is really, really good stuff. Yeah. Um, and the packaging, I kind of, I have to admit, mm -hmm. I was enticed by the packaging. It looks like a cool, cool whiskey to have in your your collection. And we should add, this is our first tasting of this. Yeah. Of this product. So, you know, it, yeah, it has been. It, I'm sure it, we've drank in a bit. Yeah, we've been drank a bit. Um. But it has been kind of taunting us from the shelves for a while. Hasn't yeah, it? yeah. It's always intimidating putting out that much money yeah, you're going on something that you're not sure about. Will it be worth it? Yeah. Um, okay, we're regressing. Yeah. A little so bit. <laughs> the finish. <laughs> um, I got that mm. warm, like a warm toffee, maybe like a bit of a burnt toffee flavor yeah. to it too on the finish, like that that subtle dryness. Yeah, and I, I wrote that dry spice, uh, but it does end with a corn sweetness. Yeah, like it doesn't. It's, pretty, it's, it's juicy on the on the finish. I find it drying at first, which usually it's the opposite. It's usually like you get this juice and then it gets and then dry. It dries out, yeah. And this is kind of for me the opposite, where yeah, I, I, the finish I is agree. dry and then it's kind of mm, this is juicy. I want more. I do agree. Yeah. Well, and I want more. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's kind of what happened with this. Yeah, you opened it tonight. We kept wanting yeah. more. <laughs> And it just kept happening. Um, mm. But yeah, the finish is quite nice on it too. Uh, viscosity? For viscosity, I, I wrote creamy syrup. Yeah. Now, I think that's a good description. I mean, it has it has some some syrupiness to it. It's got and some it weight. It's creaminess. That's what I mean about being ben the venison of, mm -hmm. <laughs> of bourbon because it's it's just got a little bit more meat on its bones, so yeah. to speak. I guess venison wouldn't because it's like a baby deer. No. So there'd be less, <laughs> there'd be less meat on the bones. But, but maybe yeah. it's heavy meat. I don't yeah. know. Um, so why do you pay $115 for it? Apparently it's because of the costly 
process of heat cycling that they do at mm -hmm. Michter's, which um, supposedly the heat cycling process increases the flavor um, mm -hmm. because it expands and contracts the wood. But yeah. obviously there's a lot of movement involved in that, which is labor and thusly costs money yeah. and is translated into the price to the consumer. But it is a very fantastic product. So. And I think it being small batch, you're going to get more... Um, kind of natural presentation mm -hmm. uh, in the flavors and the smells because there's not going to be a lot of blending going on when mm -hmm. they make approximately two dozen barrels of each batch. Yeah. So that's it's, not a lot. Yeah, it's not a lot in the world of whiskey, that's no. for sure. Um, and, and it'd be interesting to find out if the, the heat movement is like an electronic thing or they physically move the barrels up into mm -hmm. the high, higher spot of the warehouse. Or Anyway, you, you tell us. We don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, score it. Score. Okay, I uh, gave it a 24.5. Pretty reasonable. Uh, it could probably be a little higher than that, but whatever. I took, your, score I took care of that. your score makes up for it. You gave it a 28.8, which rounds it out. I like it. At 26.66. But I'm a bourbon-y guy. Yeah. So it's it's really, really delicious stuff. So it came out at 26.66, Yeah. what I'm saying. 26.66. Yeah. Out of 33.33, mm -hmm. that's a nice score. Great score. At 115 bucks, mm, I don't know if that's the 115 bucks score, no. but still a good score. I think we've rated some that cost less higher, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you're, you are you got to expand your whiskey knowledge by buying some of these bottles. Yeah. And uh, adventure out into things that you're not used to. And it's not going to disappoint you. Like, it's not, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a very great bottle and I quite enjoy it um, but it's only that the price is discouraging mm -hmm. the price is a little discouraging that's it and that is kind of specific to where we live it might be a bit different yeah. where you live yeah if you can get it for less than 115 bucks buy it up yeah buy it it's good yeah and they make a wide variety uh, there's a, a whole range there's a rye one and there's a they have a sour mash yeah. a rye a bourbon and an American whiskey, I believe, yeah. and then they're coming out with these um, these rare, rare what? Yeah, rare bottlings. Rare bottlings. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So Trenny and C, our first tasting of Michters. Um, Michters. Michters. Um, so su subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe on YouTube. Check out our website. Hit the subscribe button. Um, we've got some whiskey news on there. We've also got photos. You can submit your photos to us. We're on Twitter now. Yeah. Um, we're super social media. Uh, yeah. Slowly figuring it out, but yeah. we're, we're getting... We're Slowly. Getting, we yeah. The odd bad tweet, but yeah. whatever. So, I don't know. Retweet us? Is that how it works? Yeah. Re retweet right. this. Yeah. If, anyway. if you can. Um, if you can figure it out. Anyway, cool. cheers. cheers. We got a little bit more to drink in this glass. Trinity and sea.